Hey there everyone, welcome to the YouTube video here on the channel. My name is Emily. Today we are here on the Black Sea again with the new Current Hill mod, Project 11356R Admiral Grigorovich class frigate. So this is the Grigorovich, this is obviously a new mod by CH. The uh, little submarine um, uh, mortar works there as well by the way. But today we're not testing it against a sub, we are testing it in what I think is a fairly real world circumstance at the moment. I like it to be a real world circumstance. Today is the 24th September 2023. Um, in the last week and a half, the um, Ukrainian um, military has been able to destroy a Rapucha class landing ship and the uh, improved Kilo Rostov on Don within Sevastopol. Now, any rational uh, military leader if they can't defend very expensive assets, are going to move them to somewhere they're not going to be pointlessly smashed to bits. So what this is designed to make is a movement of quite a, quite a large sort of chunk of the Black Sea Fleet sailing from Sevastopol in convoy to a basically. So we're just off the coast of Sevastopol, well, up the coast straight into Sea of Azov, away from missiles, or away from the range of missiles. So I can say about the Grigorovich. Got a second Grigorovich, so I got um I believe I was going for Admiral Makarov and Admiral Essen here. Got a Saragushi class Corvette, this is the Mercury. I'm oh, standing in for the what well, this is the Mercury, yep. The uh Resky is standing in for the Krivak. We've got Project 2260 patrol ship, that's in the Black Sea at the moment. I got another we've got a Karakurt, a Rapuka, a Karakurt, and that's it. So it's a, it's a decently sized naval convoy. Now, it's very difficult to move this much metal without someone noticing as such someone's noticed our first prong of our attack today so this is so this is an interceptor going up this is the first prong of our attack today these are my favorite aircraft our favorite toys at the moment the mouths the air launch decoys they're carried aboard and there's, there's eight carried board eight um, mig 29s that's quite a few missiles the plan is we're going to basically ripple these into the sam net start draining the sam net and at the same time, we've got a pack of four B-21s here. I know the B-21 isn't currently in service. However, some of the weapons this thing carries are, and that is Yalar Razums. So basically, this is making America getting involved. So what we're going to do in this uh, thing, or we are going to send, because we've got the destination paused, I'm going to show you guys the setup for this. So I'm going to target, I'm going to set the targets basically over the top of the um the system here so need basically just scat this whole area of targets so they are gonna these basically these, the way these uh miles are set up is they're set up as cruise missiles um however they're basically set to fly at a high altitude bit and look big on a radar screen so ai wants to target them so these will sort of splash down the other side of sevastopol um i've just realized i think i broke yeah i've brought the, the wrong uh, defense asset in the mission um we're gonna run this twice we're we'll on this once without a shore around base so with a shore based air defense system as you can see i've got an sa21 here or the s400 it doesn't fire and i can't make it fire that leads me to believe there's been some sort of scripting and it's become broken so there you go we'll just do eight targets that means each aircraft should fire one round at each of them five six oh Come on, work, you bastard. Um, what we'll actually do is we'll just why not target where one of the ships is? And they basically they'll cruise along and then, then smash into the, the sea. Um, you'll see these in another video I've got coming hopefully very soon, which is um a bit more of a realistic attack, shall we say, on the um on Russian, you know, on how I think Ukraine would basically tackle destroying the the um, thingy in port if they had more airframes. I actually hypo hypo hypothesizing it that they're going to get attackums, and that was confirmed about two days after I recorded the video. Go figure. So and this flight's just going to fire a spread that's going to go straight over the top of the base and uh, go from there. 
you can see I've got the ET sort of off the coast of um, of Ukraine there. That's just to make sure it can definitely see the targets. We'd have probably um, um, rule on. Basically, what would happen is the uh, J the Lorazem would be fired. Uh, four, five, six, in a way that um, they basically would just find their own targets. They wouldn't actually be targeted like on a radar beam. There we go. That'll do me. So those are going to fire their spread. This is going to so that, that the spread being the spread of missiles being fired is going to do two things. One, hopefully it shall. Um, yeah, they'll fire against that flight. We'll just see if it'll let me engage multiple ships in the formation. No, it won't let me do one. That's fine. What I'll do is I'll turn the ships to flank bell, um, zero feet, alarm state red, and we'll put the uh, S-400 to alarm state red also. Now, just as a bit of a fly in the ointment, the alert fighters have seen the MiG-20, the alert so the radars on Crimea have seen the inbound wave of MiG-29s, so they're now getting targeted by interceptors. This will be an interesting fight. The um, S-235 can probably smash all the MiG-29s with no losses, but uh, I just want to see what happens, basically. Um, right, so we have got these guys running into the target area. So the reason I'm using B-21s here is this simulates B-52s, but they're not going to ever get in range. To be engaged by the um, by the radar system, therefore I'm not concerned about um, you know about their RCS. Basically, I'm just going to turn them away as soon as they fire their, their missiles. So the these guys need two more targets apparently, but they are firing a massive wave now over the top of Crimea of the uh, off well so, so, I should say southeastern Crimea of these uh, mild air launch decoys. We'll have a look at one in a bit more detail in a second. And this is that, put one right the way over there. Now what I'll do as well, now that those guys are gonna be missiles away, I'm gonna just set a path, takes them out of the engagement zone of anyone. And then we'll say accelerate, the blank, and dive, dive, dive. You guys are gonna be in the same status. No, he's still fighting, he needs to fire three missiles off. Fascinating. I mean, to be fair, we've got a lot of miles off here, so we've got enough in the way of miles for this strike, if I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it from there. So let's just turn him away as well. And that's because, uh, you know, you're not going to go smashing into the target with your face. You don't need to. These are the miles, by the way. Ooh. These are the miles, by the way. These are the air launch decoys. You can see it's basically a cruise missile, but in the nose, it's got a load of... Um, cleverness effectively which makes it look much bigger than it actually is you'll see there's a massive wave of these being launched no reaction from the s400 battery yet um you're on alert state red you're ready to fire uh, f7 let's look at you guys that's the tow trucks of the radars you can see the radars are illuminated or illuminated or raised and are doing their thing here so yeah, they should hopefully um, start engaging. You can see the uh, the towels here, which are the um, transport rocket launchers. They each carry four missiles. I've actually probably positioned it a bit too close to Sevastopol, but the theory would be, or my theory would be, that basically the um, Russian armed forces would be positioning sand batteries all the way along the coast and running these ships tight in the coast. So you can see these guys are now running at a flank bell. Um, and they are ready to go. This, to be honest, the, the Karakurts are probably the best ships to have in this formation. They only have short range air defences, but they pack quite the punch in short range mode. So let's have a look. Molds are on, on their way now. Oh, hello. Anything gone for the Molds? No. What we'll do is we're going to fast forward time a bit. And uh, yeah, that pack, you can see just a massive cluster. That would look crazy on a radar screen. Also, on a radar screen, this doesn't look like a formation of aircraft. This looks like a bunch of decoys. Um, the real things are programmed better. So they, they can fly low, fly high, act like aircraft, act like... They can, they're basically a heavily programmable toy. In-game, they're not. But also in-game, the AI is not clever enough to differentiate them. 
So the uh, MiG 29s are flying about up there. The, the Su 35s have given up and are going home too. They basically ran themselves out of gas. Yeah, right going from 20 knots. Um, bear in mind, I did actually try and give these things trans, um, hypersonics, but it is what it is. 600 knots flying through the air. So this is um, basically covering. Yeah. So this is the. this. Well, whilst we're waiting for them to fly. It's actually quite an interesting thing. So if, if Ukraine wants to retake Crimea, they have to send ground forces over this area here, um, which is basically just a marshland, as you can see, flat marshland. Uh, I forget what I forgot what it's called. It does have a really fancy name. Um, uh, Sivash. There you go. Ozero Sivash. So basically, it's a nightmare to send anyone in here to retake Crimea manually. Therefore, part of that means that my theory on how Russia wants, on how Crimea is going to be retaken, if it is, is basically they're going to starve them out. Um, they're going to force them to sue for, sue, sue for, for peace and surrender. Go to satellite mode now, not alt mode. That's the easiest to understand. These guys are still flying in. I want to increase time somewhat. It'll be a bit more time on target than this, but to be fair, there you go. You can see just a stream of missiles now coming up off the ships. Got well, crap. Okay, whatever. Um, we've got nine 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 six twos, which are basically S three fifty rounds. Hang on. S350 long range rounds, these have come off one of the ships. Um, S350 is a very good weapon system. That will be actually what's defending coming in the next round. For some reason, the um, S400 just doesn't engage things at the moment. I'm working on that now. You can see that the Su 35s have actually done a clever thing and have run away from this formation and just let the missiles take care of it. But you can see though, so a lot of missiles being sent in. Well, watch what these guys probably have killers. And bear in mind as well, this is against decoys. So these decoys are just wasting. That they are they are doing their job here, wasting missiles. One down. Two. Three. Okay, this is actually doing much better than last time. Four, five. Unless that's come out of my S400 battery. I don't think it has. Yeah, so they've actually got a near 100 stop PK. Last time this happened, basically what happened was the Russians panicked. They only had eight missiles in that time, but they fired about 17 rounds at them. So actually, when you think about it, that's a very good deal. There you go. We've got missiles coming up off Grigorovich now. Warm launch off this thing. Well, boom, no cold launch. A blammy. This is firing 9 Mike 317 rounds. These are actually different rounds, the S350. Ha, huh. that's fun. Do you fully model to CH mod? That's of course that's the fireworks going on there. Imagine be like living in Crimea as like a Ukrainian under, under occupation. Like holy fuck, the Ukraine's back, boys! Boom. Bear in mind that every single one of these missiles, although it looks like they're doing a lot of damage, they're not. They're just being wasted, really. Um, I'm three one seven, raining in on its target. I didn't even see that coming. Seriously impressive. Anyway. Uh, a serious of speed, I should say. Right, we're going to... Now that V-21s have done their bit, I'm going to tell them to basically just fly over here and land, like, in... I don't know, Batumi. There you go. So you can see we've now got a string of missiles out. All coming from these uh, wonderful bad boys. This is the JSAO. Oh, sorry, the Lorazm. My bad. I don't know why I keep calling it the JSAO, the Lorazm. This is the AGM-158. Um, basically, really cool mod. 
by CH. They've got really cool animation when they drop out the aircraft as well. But this is the modern anti-shipping missile. So this, this is what America would bring into the fight. This is what's replaced, being replaced, sorry, or, or what's replacing the harpoons. Um, AGM-158 Charlie. It is really cool. Um, current and future operators. So the uh, US, USAF and USN have ordered them. Uh, and so have the Aussies. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I'm not sure these work on F-35s, which is probably why they've not been more ordered. But you can see, basically, fire a, a pile of them in there. And what the plan here is, is these guys are now going, Engage missiles! Engage them! You can see these things are like 600 knots, transonic, 20,000 feet. Interesting that, though, is... Oh, I was going to say, interesting that that hasn't been picked up, because it should go mainland, but it's actually been picked up by the uh, air defence on the ship. So these... The current aircraft, uh, sorry, the current targets are these things over here, which are just going over that way, but yeah, they're still being attacked. But look at that, one miss. Two miss, I think. Yeah, so that's, that, that was like a 50 MPK on that, on that sort of wave of them, shall we say. And they fired two missiles to help kill one target here. And they're nearly over the top of them as well, which is really, which bodes really well for our Larasm attack. Miss on both counts. That's Hermes K's. So that the Hermes are struggling at, to get up to 20,000 feet accurately, because that's the carrot curves engaging them now. So I think we've done a really good job draining four fired. That's, yeah, the two carrot curves firing. Look at that. They're basically trying to shoot him, but they're running out of rounds. So this has been a perfectly executed operation. Bear in mind, obviously, the, uh, we're not simulating any IADs on the ground here. Now, we are just going to let our missiles get close. All our RASMs. All our RASMs, as you can see... Oh, no, these are actually now doing diving attacks. You can watch the explosion as this smashes into the ground. Probably won't explode. Depends, actually, it's CH. He's either done no explosion or an amazing explosion. Bonk! No explosion. Which is absolutely fair enough. I will actually probably make that hit something in future, just to see what happens. So we are just going to ride one. We'll ride the second missile in. Uh, but you can see we've got a fair ways to go. Until we get close to those guys. Now, the B, if it was B-52, right, it would be attacked. But because it's just B-52, it would have basically fired and done a U-turn. You know, they're not confirmed, but confirmed by that being the bottom of the map, basically. <laughs> MiG-29s want blood. They're going for those the, the C-35s. <laughs> Oh no. Um, or they're just sad that the decoys got shut down, but that's sort of the point of the decoys, boys. I do want to get a screenshot for the thumbnail of this riding into the side of a Grigorovich. This is the kind of content you guys come to the channel for, though. It's quite clearly, uh, you know, I, I just, well, I say it's quite clear. I think this is interesting. Put it that way. I think this is interesting. Um, so let it get to the edge of the show, Rad Rick. Field. I mustn't be in the right thing yet. There we go. Boom. So bear in mind, the ships are still sailing at a uh, flank bell. They're doing, uh, doing 18 knots. I can't make them go any faster. That's interesting. Let's just say 56 miles an hour. Set path. Kabom. Kabom. And then... Because the thing is, I don't want them to, to get there and stop. So I'll go... Bop. Crap. Right. Set path. Bop. 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 There we go. That's now that I'm actually going to path on. So the, uh, yeah, the, 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 and they're speeding up to flank at 27 knots, all of them, which is good. They'll go as fast as the slowest ship can in the convoy. I think it's going to probably take the Grigorovich a second if it takes some energy up. That rescue is very close to the shoreline. He's just like showboating for Sevastopol here. The thing is that he is probably the most vulnerable because he's not really got any way to defend himself. Oh, he's got something on the back there. He's got some sort of launch. Looks like a gecko. 
system on the back. Okay, missiles, where are you boys? So the missiles are on the way in at the target. Right, let's ride that second missile in. If they're about to miss, I'm about to be very embarrassed. I mean, they're incredibly low. Let's do out a few layers just to... They're going very wide. So I need reflex response to this. They got, they're being targeted now, so what have we got inbound for them? Hermes K's. Missile is doing a 8G flat skid, basically, at this point. That's the top, that's the seeker head turning on. And pause. And what's the distance, distance between these two? That's still a quarter of a mile. Let's give it a... See the little dot there? Boop. <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. So you can see the uh, the, the dart missiles, the Hermes Ks. This is what Hermes K looks like, by the way, the missile. It's just a little dart. Um, <laughs> there, there, there it is, missing a Larasm. Uh, or two of them, to be precise. Um, so I'm just going to ride these guys in. We'll, we'll just watch them engage. I think we're going to see some gunfire coming off the... Um, ships soon. In formation with another Larasm there. You can see they're really shifting. Now they're 19 feet off the deck at 630 knots. This is quick. One's been destroyed. Looks like we're going for a Grigorovich, boys. Missiles are taking us. It's going to get there first. Bastard. See what's kicking in. Ooh, boys. We're going for one of the further back ships. I think that's a, that's a Grigorovich. Holy. Holy balls, guy. Okay, that's that's just a cool thumbnail. Hang on. I, I don't think this will be a thumbnail, but it's just a cool screenshot in DCS. Right, the next missile, the next next wave missile. Where's the? This is getting pretty close, you know. Going for a Karakat too, I think. Yep, going for a Karakat. Engaging C Ram. Little poops, poofs of um. No, no hope. It's gonna miss, I think. Hang on. It's gonna be this gonna be the closest flyby in history. Close flybys. I'm going to take that just as a thumbnail, <laughs> just in case. We're going for the rescue. <laughs> Bonk. That'd be a dead rescue, probably. Yeah, rescue's dead. Look at that. One of the Grigorovich's has already died. Karaka is about to... After making the crew shit themselves, we're now killing them. That is... Boom. Thing is, like these literally look at that. The smaller ships just one hit, one kill. Steraguchi is still standing. Steraguchi is very capable combatant. Rapuka it is defending itself mightily by the looks of things. Is that actually using it seaways? Does that's because this does have um, guns front and back. I think from memory it shows. Have a... We'll just send cruise myself for that one when it's when he's in dry dock again. Um, Second wave are converging here <laughs> on the uh, dead. Actually, that's a dead Grigorovich. Damn, missed that by. Thing is, so th this is sort of the drawback if you're using these missiles. Loads of them are just smashing into that one Grigorovich. To be honest, we might not have killed all the ships in the, in the fleet. But this is one hell of an attack. Again, you know, you know well, what I the reason I'm sort of set, I'm really impressed by the cruise missile attacks on Crimea. How much financial damage has the attack caused? How much logistical damage has the attack caused? So at the moment, you know, price tag. If you went to Sevmash tomorrow and asked to buy a Rapuka and a a Rostov Don or a improved Kilo. 
it's going to be a couple, it's going to be a couple of million, a couple of tens of millions, uh, if not hundreds. Um, if you know all the missiles aboard those ships, or the other equipment that I can't think of on board those ships, everything, man, everything. All the crew, you know, if I'm presuming the ships were dry docked, so probably no crew, on, no one on board. I think the attack was at night. So yeah, potentially people being accommodated ashore, so no one not actually on board the ship. Kill the diesel boat. So um, you know, potentially no one on board the ship. But again, in this situation, think of all the crew that are going to be lost. You know, before we think about the human cost of this, let's just think about like, like resources. It takes a long time to train the crew. Uh, you know, from what well, crew member from from recruit to competent seaman. <laughs> competent seaman. <laughs> it's my stage name um but no um it's just it just like i say i mean this this poor um gregorovich is being smashed to pieces i actually think there's probably a thumbnail here okay what i'll do is for closeness and then it's just Nice, simple. What the hell have I merged there? Sorry. New zap. Hang. And this isn't the Grigorovich hit. So the, that Grigorovich got targeted, the 745 got targeted a lot. There's a hypothetical here because these guys haven't made it very far. Can I tell them to reattack the target? Oh no, they, they find another. They find another group of missiles. They. <laughs> these guys are not fucking about, man. So they didn't actually expend all their rounds. Interestingly, so we've got the two ships sailing forward. We've got or well, three ships sailing forward. Ooh, got a Grigorovich. We're going to take the brunt of this 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 smash. Um, let's see how this goes. I think the Grigorovich and Steragushi are going to get this one. Um, that round there might go for Rapuka. Who knows? Because Rapuka is probably the least like capable combatant ship here. Ooh, or hasn't gone dumb. Interesting. Well, or Lorasm not gone dumb. Lorasm just covering for Frendo. It just shows, like literally, it's nearly hitting the bow wave um, of the uh, of, of Grigorovich. There, that's crazy. Also, this we'll set this a definite lesson for roleplay purposes. This was one of the ships that tailed HMS Duncan in the Warship documentary series on Channel 4 in the UK. I don't want to get my, my, myself taxed up to all, sorry, my, myself copyright strike truck, so I'm not going to show you the clip, but yeah, just imagine that. Pang. Okay, it's at the bottom of the Black Sea now, boys. Steragushi's dead. Lorazm going for a puka by the looks of things. Oh no, Lorazm doing a flyby of a puka. Going at the ocean, yeah, it's it's been so these have been targeted ships that have just sunk, um, so it can't retarget. That's a core game issue, as far as I understand it. Got two last missiles coming out. That will all be going for a puka now. Hopefully, if not, we're gonna have to want to tell the tale. Now, uh, I'll get to that range there. He's targeted the Rapuka, I believe. Damn. Let's just see if... I, I'm going to take another screenshot here. I'm, I'm basically, I do screenshots, I do screen grabs using clipping tool. It's a lot like easier to frame them that way. He's sinking out now. So that is the entire convoy destroyed. So we've had... Access to the equivalent of four B-52s with the Lorasms. I, 
And like I say, on the Ukrainian side of this, on 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 the brute force side of this, no lives lost. Which I find interesting. What we're going to do now, we're going to do a quick rerun of this. We're going to do that with this time with an IAD on Crimea. That's actually functional. I'll be back in a second. All right, folks. So the attack is exactly the same as it was last time, except we now have an S350 here, which is currently setting up. And you can see there's a Patriot S, sorry, Panzer S1 here for fire support purposes. They're now all online. And here comes the attack, basically. So we're just going to fast forward a little bit. The Su-35s are going to fly off in that direction, probably. I'll let them kill the MiG-29s this time, just for simplicity. We're at 40 times speed, just for speed here. You can see there is a fairly massive wave of uh, these molds out now. Really, what we'll do, actually... I will be realistic, because I'm a pedant for realism, as you all know. Just turn them away and dive them to a low level and speed them up. So we'll turn you away, speed you up, and dive you to a low level. There we go. So that is my MiG 29s turning cold. And there we go. You can see the numbers falling away. They're like, no. I'm done. I'm out. And then we've got a big block of the, the molds coming in. Interesting, like I say, I fired them in exactly the same way I did last time, except they're just a big blob this time, a string of lines, which is fine. They'll just mean they'll just come across the target area. And we'll see it. What some fairly massive fireworks going off, hopefully. So you can see the Karakurt's heading southbound. B-21s haven't fired yet for some reason, but they, they, they fly at about, or they're flying at about the same speed the missiles would. Holy balls, look at that line of missiles. Choo, pachoo, pachoo, pachoo. Look at the rate this site's being drained at. Half the missiles are gone in the, ba the battery already. Half the long range missiles. And this is going to be a crucial difference. Interestingly, the ships aren't engaging yet. They probably will momentarily. But you can see it's just a long line of missiles coming out. Like I say, their job is just to drain that battery. What I'm going to do is these guys are flying another forward verge. We're still at 46,000 feet. Awaiting some sort of sign from God to fire. Is it just going to be once they pass the waypoint they engage? I don't even know at this point. Oh, there you go. Missiles away. So we've got clumps. We've got a lot of missiles coming out there against the uh, the fleet. What we'll do is just send them on a delay vector, basically. Um, so I'm going to turn them out to the left. Like that. And then that'll by the time they reach waypoint 2, that we'll be in a position for them to re-attack if required. Now look how close these missiles are still getting through, even with the extra IADs um, capacity. We, are st we still got miles making it near enough over the target. Bear in mind, some of them have been programmed to actually smash their faces into the target. And we're draining the ships out, which is great. Can't actually see the number of rounds left on the ships. Ships are turning, though, to, well, just on course to basically pull a hug the coast on their way to uh, the Sea of Azov. So you can see you've got a decent PK on these, but there's still a lot more missiles in the air than there is molds. So, uh, you know, decent PK. That was the, um, oh, that's the uh, thing is in the air. What's this round here? 9 mic 317M. Got one last mold who's made it through all of that. He's just like, I'm the luckiest mold in the world. What's going to happen now is the Karakurt's going to engage him. Um, even though they can see it's just a missile at this point. Oh, no, I've gotten 317. I need to check what missile system this actually comes from. A little CH logo there, I see. <laughs> Boom. 9 Mike 317. So it will be very interesting to see because we've. So it's actually part of the book M3, so it's the updated book missile system. 
uh, is what that'll be. That'll be book entry for modern. Yeah, it's the late, basically the latest production batch, which is quite interesting to see that that that's sort of being modelled. I guess. Uh, let's have a look at the the um, drained drained. So all of the long range is drain. Short range, Planseer hasn't engaged anything yet. And neither have the short short items from it. And that's a lot of rounds. So we'll see if this achieves anything for us. This whole cluster of, of rounds going in. What I'm actually going to do is snap, snap. Because we're low observable. Snap. Because they're going to be firing by the time they get there. So uh, yeah. We'll just we'll speed this this one up. Hopefully I'll be able to like say ride a missile into the first ship to get hit. It'd be rather cool if I could. See they are hugging the coast and they're proceeding at a flank bell. Whoa. So I want to see where these missiles are coming out of. That was Miemrads. I don't know if that's them drained now and they'll just come go. Nope, that is Crimea firing missiles there. That is my Mike 100s. So yep, these are really effective rounds. As you can see. Wow, look at that. Madness. That's the attack fully stopped. Another round of missiles are in the air. Let's just fire more. Fire more! Shoot him! See, this is where the GR system they have with the scoreboard would be great because I'd love to be able to see how many. How many uh, rounds have been fired? Because I can't keep track of that. They are firing more missiles now. Fire more! You see, what I could have done here, and what I should have done, is had them all um, sort of do a TOT strike. But I, to be honest, would have found it a nightmare to time that. Uh, so TOT, sorry, is time on target. What I could do, what I would do as well, if I was... Uh, NATO, shall we say, dealing with this at this point. Anti-shipping missiles on the coast, whether that's harpoons, whether that's RBS-15s, just to start absorbing missiles. We've got Hermes is coming off. Hermes, like I say, like say, not the most accurate of missiles. <laughs> that's my usual thumbnail for this, is like, air defence missile flies past... Uh, Past cruise missiles, my normal thumbnail for um, for these sorts of things. So you can see at this point, this won't frag properly, but this probably wouldn't actually shoot the missile, and it would damage it, but and it will probably not function properly. But oh no, it's fragged. I timed that just right. So you can see a bunch of Hermes is going out. Two Hermes, one one miss. Come on, Larasm. Got four more rounds going in. They are firing them in really small clusters. So just just go to show though, a really good eye ads. You know, regardless of how good you make the attack, it is decidedly harder basically to to to, uh, to deal with. So let's have a look at these ships. Obviously, none of them have been damaged. A lot of them have expended the majority of their ammunition here, and I'd say at the moment probably. Uh, America's probably, or NATO has paid the more money here in terms of the cost of the strike. However, again, create dilemmas. So a dilemma is a problem with multiple solutions, all of which are equally bad. In this instance, you know, you don't shoot the ship's de the missiles down, your ships get destroyed. You shoot the missiles down, your ships survive, but now you've got to go and find a fair few hundred rounds of ammunition. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me on a regular basis, and we shall see you in the next video. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.